What's up, Scrollsers? It's Nerp here, and today Franconi was online, so we're gonna play against him. And I'm playing a Control Mono Decay deck, so it's similar to my Mono Decay deck that uh, is more mid range ish. I guess it's mid to late game, but this is definitely more late game. Um, doesn't have very aggressive things. And this hand, I think, is pretty good against growth. Uh, I'll go 2 drop Infested House or Languid. Blood Bearers are good against growth, so I hate to get rid of one, but I think the rest of my hand is just better. You know what, I'm going to get rid of the Blight Seed. He, uh, Blight Seed is more for when I don't think the opponent can destroy my unit, and facing growth, I'm going to have to be more turn by turn, like, playing something, and Brain Lights and Languid and stuff like that. If he's playing, like, a late game growth here, I'll be kind of upset that I sacrificed that Blight Seed. So we have an interesting start here. Actually kind of surprised. Uh, I thought I um, have uh, made a video of me playing Franconi since my return to scrolls, but I don't think I have. I guess we just haven't been online at the same time. Okay, he doesn't actually play anything there. Uh, I'll get rid of the Blight Bearer here because in case he doesn't play anything this turn, then I can't play the Brain Lice. Uh, so I'll and I'll have a turn 3 play just in case. Kind of wish I sold that Blight Seed now because Blight Seed would be ideal next turn because this thing likely won't die. I was expecting a 2 drop. My mistake. Should have kept the Blight Seed. Thought that he was going to be more aggressive. Keeper's Pledge. When a creature comes into play, other creatures on that side gets plus. Okay, so it is kind of aggressive here. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of the one of the brain lices. I hate to get rid of a brain lice, such a, such a strong card, but nothing really uh, else to get rid of. Yeah, it would've been perfect to. Uh, I guess he had double ragged, so. Oh boy. That does a lot of damage pretty quickly. Um, in that case, look, I don't think I'm gonna be able to get an attack off really. So I'm gonna get rid of Harvester and put it in front. I don't think this Harvester is gonna be able to survive until it can attack. So I'll get my Blood Bear in the back. There's no point. In Defending my Earth of Light Bearer because when it dies, my whole row would get poisoned. Okay, he's not too high in resources right now, so. Should be okay. Wonder if I did Blight Seed if he had three Riot Wolves to uh, get rid of that. Or no, I was going second anyways. There's a Blight Seed, but now I don't really have a chance to play it. So I'm just gonna play the Oblivion Seeker. I mean, he's gonna clear my row probably. Put it in front here. Keep my Blight Bearer on row of you, so if he wants to clear the row, he's going to have to have a row of units get poisoned. Which I doubt he's going to choose. Okay, he gets growth. Hopefully I can find a Witch Doctor, but I'm low on cards. Um, that Blight Seed earlier would have been huge, so maybe I can top deck a Halls of Oomwasa. That would be good. Then again, I might not be able to really stop and like actually play it. Rat King. Oh boy. Now... Nuru, I'm not gonna have a chance to pull off, I don't think. It's gonna be tough to pull a Nuru off. I will... Go for more resources, I need to ramp up. 
brain lace this, attack into one of these, and play a pack husk. There goes a lingering spell. I, I, he probably has another one though. Seeing as this deck looks like it's based around that. Earth Boon. Fjords. What the hell? Earth Boon, what is it been doing? Enchanted unit gets plus two attack for each lingering spell in play. Whenever lingering spells play it, enchanted units. Wow. It's one strong ragged wolf. Okay, I'll draw a card. Uh, pretty good draw there. Ooh, now what do I do? This tough. Tough turn. I'll probably soul steal one of these. Okay, I'm gonna. I knew it. I know I sacrificed a new so far, so I can actually get a lucky sleep moratorium to be able to play more things this turn. So I'm gonna go for it. Ugh, no new. Well, that was bad. Uh, in that case, I will. I'll take the blight seed back, but end up just sacrificing it most likely. And I should have taken the brain lice back because I had a lingua. I wouldn't have to sacrifice it. Uh, definitely. Well, oh well. I'll lingua this, and then I'll. Get rid of the blight scene, not gonna be able to pull it off. And I will soul steal this thing. And I guess we're protecting idols. I'm gonna go right in the middle there. Okay, draw a card from that brain list, and I do get the new root, uh, my second new root. I could play it next turn, but I'm a little afraid. He already has used, I guess, what, two ragged wolves? So, and he's, he, might not, he probably doesn't have veterans in this deck. So playing in the new room might be wise. If I can get some attacks off with that, that'd be huge. Okay, wisely separating. Clearing my board as well. And another Rat King, okay. We need to find, I don't know what we need to find. This is controlled decay, I'm supposed to be able to combat this stuff. What I need is, Witch Doctor, that's what I need. Yes. Um, now, so let's, let's grab the new idea, I guess. Because then the new would just be like a wall in, in the uh, front. So let's corpse stuff unbind us for something huge, a big drop. So if he happens to play a huge drop, then. Um, Then I can do some things. Okay, I desperately need to draw a couple humans. I guess I'll play this here. Hopefully he has no way of killing the witch doctor. Okay. My idols are at okay health right now. I'm not too worried about that. If he plays like a brother of the wolf here, that's pretty good because then I can corpse stuff on bond. Or maybe that wouldn't be the right play, I'm not sure. Clandestine Orchard. Okay, so now there's that. Uh, man, I wish I had Rattle Hymns. Oh, come on! Hits that one. The worst one for it to hit. <laughs> Wish it hit that Ragged Wolf Zero attack. Well, oh, goodbye, Husk. And there's a Vilda. Okay. So this is a ward, so I can't do a Corpse Stuff Unbind on it. Okay, we need. We desperately need humans. Um, let's see. I'll get rid of the Corpse Theft. Um, not quite humans, but not the worst. A little afraid of what's going on up top there, so. 
that's the only thing that I could unbind. Well, looks like I'm not gonna play much this turn. Just gonna go. Clan Center does it work for both sides? Okay, it does work for both sides. So I can. I guess I will use an unbind. This just says poison, doesn't have a um, green light, so I can't unbind that. Well, I'll go ahead and use up my hand then. I know it doesn't seem like it's that great a play, but I gotta start doing some things. Man, he's already used two Rat Kings, so I don't have to worry about that. I really want my other Soul Steals. Believe I only played one so far. It's hard to do a lot because I haven't gotten pulled off any of my ramp cards yet, like uh, Blight Seed, Halls of Home Lost, and stuff like that. Okay, fine. More rats are attacking, and now one of those are going to attack. Breathe. Hmm. Well, this this lingering spell that deck, uh, I think it has the upper hand against me. I'm, I'm I'd bet against myself at this point in the game. This will be, I think, maybe the first one of these uh, my return to scrolls challenge videos that I lose. I'm not sure, but the game's not over yet. Still holding on by a thread. Okay. Thank you for the husk, and he does not destroy that. Um, sleep moratorium. I need to get another human. I could put the Nuru in front, but I'm afraid of like Crimson Bull, and then goodbye Nuru. Let's get rid of the Unbind. I think. You know, I'll, I'll sleep moratorium. Or should I? Guild Seat Moratorium. Nope, let's not save Moratorium. Let's go for cards first. Necro. Necro clears middle. Necro's not a bad play. Okay, I'm, I'm going to save Moratorium, though. I don't think I should Necro. Because he just cleared my row after. So, Sleep Moratorium. Okay, so we can play the new Rue and S. Trizen now, which is great. Or should I just Oblivion Seeker for cards? Nah, I'm going Nuru. You're going Nuru. There we go. I had to click the Nuru to get the resources. I couldn't just like, you know what I mean? Um, how do I want to do this? Hopefully you can't destroy the idol. Hope you can't win the game. I didn't realize the Clannison Orchard was there, so I actually uh, got a couple things to attack. Um, would have been better if I was able to destroy the Brave and I had this uh, Infestus behind, but I forgot about that whole positioning thing. Okay. And as long as I keep this, like, row of th these two creatures alive, this coming next turn, I might be in an okay position. Like this, to this, or this, I don't really care if they die. Rather the Husk not die too from the Ilmar tribes in, but... Also, it might be possible for him to get a quick win. I'm just gonna try, I'll probably just forget about this top idol. It's, uh, holding down three idols like this is kind of what Witch Doctor does best. So I really hope that he can't destroy the Witch Doctor. Obviously gonna have to make sure I don't play the Nuru next turn. Okay, at least the uh, Fjords of Vigor is gone. Plays a Ragged Wolf. That's his third Ragged Wolf, so I don't have to worry about any more of those. Earth Boon is going to make that attack. And Vetter is going to make one of those attack. Um, so, okay, he's not able to destroy the Witch Doctor. He is able to clear everything else. Like, 
including the husk that spawns as well. Okay, what's gonna get poisoned? Please poison the better. Nope, that ragged wolf. That's actually annoying. Okay, that kills the better. Ah, oh, that was a bad spawn for those. Very bad spawn. If I had a spawn down here, I'd be able to kill the Vilda. Yeah, that was really unlucky. Very unlucky, very unlucky indeed. Um, I get rid of the Nuru because can't exactly play it. Human, Witch Doctor. Wish I could just unbind this or one of these. Actually, I don't have anything I can do though. Um. Hate to do this, but looks like I'm gonna. Yeah, should I move this out? No, I should keep it because the clan is an orchard means I can probably make it attack next turn if I'm lucky. I could Necrogun. No, I can't Necrogun. I can make Witch Doctor. Well. I guess uh, I guess I'm using a witch doctor to protect the witch doctor. Not what I want to do. Hate to waste one of them, but didn't top take anything better. I don't have to worry about like a huge explosive play most likely, because it's only at four resources. If I win. It means this decay deck was, was just like had just enough to hold them off. Okay, no rally this turn. Well, I mean, even if he did rally, it wouldn't be the end of the world. I just lose my front witch doctor. Ideally, I don't lose either the witch doctor. If he doesn't destroy that front witch doctor this turn, that is great for me. Then I can just move this back here and then have a double witch doctor defense. I'd say two witch doctors on the board are. Not quite twice as good as one witch doctor, but probably 1.5 times as good as one witch doctor. Because then when one of the witch doctor dies, you get another husk. Um, Clanicide's still here, so hopefully I draw another creature, preferably a human. Okay, Ancestral Pact. Okay, there goes a witch doctor. Or you could just take out Middle Idol. Okay, he's just going to take out Middle Idol. Which... Ow. Um, that's not too good for me. I'm gonna have to get some units up there. <laughs> okay, he's going for idols now. I'm actually glad he did that. Although it has makes me split my defenses now, um, I am glad he did that. Uh, so I don't think I'm necker getting anytime soon. I mean, I don't think unbinds really a deck uh, card for this deck anyways. Like, there's, he's played nothing uh, good that I could unbind. Uh, corpse that besides Vilda, which has a ward. Okay, so I think I'll just do this. I go go up to eight. Play the pack husk husk here. Now, hopefully, should I move this stuff around first? Yeah. Sh Actually, no. Let's do it like this. Okay. Come on, that thing attacks, so I'll have to attack that, and then... I'll put... This down here. And we want it to spawn up there, so... No, it wouldn't even work that way. Okay, well, oh, that was actually kind of bad. Why did I do it like that? <laughs> that was actually really stupid. I just opened my witch doctor and newer up. Oh my god, hopefully that doesn't lose me the game. That was so stupid. What did I just do there? I was getting confused. Uh, is that going to be game? I've messed up there. Darn. Really did. That was bad. I 
I got a little too cute there with my positioning. And it might cost me this game. Because now neither of these are touching the other witch doctor. Okay. I guess he doesn't have lethal. Hmm. Well, there goes that witch doctor without a husk in his place. Clear, clear, clear misplay. Darn. Well, I'm still alive. Looks like my looks like my new is gonna survive. Okay, good. He messed up as well. Okay. Okay. Whoa, he's gonna let that survive. Okay, I guess. I guess it didn't matter in the end that I made that misplay. Actually, it doesn't make any difference at all because my witch doctor survived. Well, if he's gonna do that, spawn up there. Yes. That was interesting. What he did. I guess I'll give him cards. Okay, I think I won this game now. I don't know what he's gonna be able to do. I'll get rid of the necro. I'm gonna play it more conservatively. Um, necro. Get rid of. Need the units to put on top. Soul steel, probably. I'll put a play in the earth boon. So, harvester soul steel. I guess that's the play. So, Harvester, and then I'll play the Soul Steel. And it spawns back there, that's kind of annoying. Okay, and then we're gonna have to only have a Harvester protecting this, or I'll move up just in case of a rumble. And I guess that works. Maybe I should try to just try to move one of my witch doctors all the way up there. We have Dominion now. Might be a good idea to just try to get one of them up there because I have already had no witch doctor has not died yet. Surprisingly, surprisingly, I've had every turn I've had like a witch doctor that's been open. Okay, this harvest is probably dead. I mean, even though it's going to attack next turn, which would be great with a 10 attack because I have Dominion now for the new Ru. Um, I assume it's gonna die. He can just make that a, he can make that rat attack very easily. And a simple Earth Boon, I guess, would do the trick. Or I guess I shouldn't write it off immediately. Wow, quite a game. Quite a game. Probably don't feel safe enough to halls yet. I'd rather just keep filling the board with units. I know halls better for the long run. Gravehawk that has relentless, so he's uh, at least a little bit scary. Okay, I guess my harvester is going to be able to deal a lot of damage. Um, it probably wise of him to move off this top row just so yeah, so I have to move down to attack. Um, now I wish I had the necro gun. Because, no, then I wouldn't have lethal number run because my harvester would die. Uh, corpse theft. I'll get rid of. Um, I could owe him Halls of Omasa. Halls of Omasa would be actually really effective. Halls and Tribesmen up top. Not more scared of what could happen on the bottom though. Yeah, I'd rather just hold down his resources by brainlessing this. Make sure he doesn't get anything off from that. Put a, another Harvester here. And then, oh, that attacks now. I guess I'll move that here just so I can. And that attacks, okay. Well, yeah, Clan of Sun Archer is easy to forget it's there because I'm not the player who's really using it that much. And I might be able to win next turn. Actually, pretty good chance because I'll have. A bunch of my board attacking because of the clandestine orchard. I'll definitely have the two husks from this, and when those when those spawn, um, maybe the other witch doctor will count down, or the, the oblivion seeker tries in, and this is already attacked for five. So I think next turn I'll be able to win the game, which this was quite a game. It was pretty tough to hold them off. Made a 
made some misplays that didn't really um, didn't really cost me, but it was a hard-fought victory. Yeah, I see Nakios come back from my defenses now. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, like the video, subscribe for more scrolls content before it officially leaves us, and I will see you next time. Keep on scrolling, scrollgers.